As new models for conducting clinical trials are emerging, community hospitals, health systems, and physician practices are increasingly choosing to participate in research that furthers medical science and improves patient lives. For decades, academic medical centers were the primary source for clinical research. Today, the majority of all industry-sponsored clinical trials are conducted in community healthcare settings. As competition for patients and physicians increase, community medical providers are looking to differentiate themselves as innovative leaders by embracing clinical research. However, only about 15% of physicians participate in clinical research trials. Barriers to entry include lack of time, lack of resources, trial-specific issues, communication difficulties, conflicts between the role of clinician and scientist, inadequate research experience and training for physicians, lack of rewards and recognition for physicians, and sometimes a scientifically uninteresting research question, among others. Site management organizations work with pharmaceutical companies who need to conduct clinical trials for their upcoming drugs. SMOs offer clinical and pharmaceutical consulting to medical practices, customizing opportunities that fit each practice and supporting them through the entire product life cycle. There are several reasons why doctors would want to conduct clinical research. First, it's not reliant on the insurance reimbursement model. The pay comes directly from the pharmaceutical companies. And in a climate of declining reimbursement, participation in clinical research can be a lucrative income stream. Plus, they get recognized by their peers and the community as a thought leader. Clinical research trials allow physicians to bring innovative new treatments that can help their patients. Physicians benefit by partnering with SMOs by leveraging their experience and expertise in clinical research. Some practices may be hesitant to add clinical research because they're afraid of the increased workload on their staff. Our SMO partner provides a research site manager who manages all aspects of the trials for the practice. Generally speaking, a practice must be able to enroll at least 15 of their own patients into the study, though they can enroll much more than that if they wish. Also, SMOs have strategic alliances with top pharmaceutical companies, offering hundreds of opportunities to physicians, which cover nearly every therapeutic area. Clinical trials are ideal for specialists rather than primary care, especially those in rural areas. Currently, the biggest need is for gastroenterology, urology, rheumatology, pediatrics, nephrology, and oncology. Finally, SMOs are able to negotiate the highest budgets, which means top dollar to the physicians who partner, plus they get paid monthly. The average budget for a study is between eight and $75,000 per patient per year. The practice will retain 50% of the budget. Qualifying offices must have a minimum of three exam rooms, a desk that a rep from the pharmaceutical company can sit and review charts with the physician every one to two months, the medications must be kept in locked storage that the patients cannot access. In some cases, a freezer or refrigerator may be required, but that will be provided by the SMO. This also pertains to lab equipment like a centrifuge, which may also be required. The staff must have an MD or DO, and ideally they'll have a large searchable database of patients who can be identified to participate in the study. Our partner SMO specializes in working with research-naive physicians, offering them guidance and support through the entire process of clinical research participation. There are three items needed to get a physician enrolled and eligible for clinical research trials. The SMO will require the physician to submit a resume signed in the upper right-hand corner, a copy of their medical license, and the feasibility questionnaire that's located in the vendor portal. This will help target study opportunities based on the physician's specialty and patient mix. The SMO will reach out to the practice within two days and will execute the agreement. 
Once approved, the physician will get a welcome letter and they will start receiving emails with available trials. If the physician has never participated in clinical research trials, it's recommended that they apply to multiple trials, thus increasing their chances for opportunities and building their clinical research resume, which makes it easier to get approved for additional clinical research trials. Upon acceptance into a particular study, the sponsor company will do a site visit to ensure that everything is in place to participate, usually within two to four weeks. The doctor will then be sent an investigator contract, which happens within one month. At this point, the practice can start enrolling patients and begin the research.